So I'll, I'll just show you how the uh, the raw canvas. Has any of you worked on raw canvas? Mm -hmm. Just with the just I'll be like, just a bit. It was raw for a moment. <laughs> 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 Well, if yeah. it's a uh, gesso canvas? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I, I just like the absorption. It's in the, uh, don't, don't like thinking this much. Really, you see, I'm even thinking now. I should just dive in, right? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> That one? Yes. <laughs> there we go. That's <laughs> the The bumpy one. She wants. The color that compass if you wanted to be your hands. Any color you want. Yellow or something. Any color you want. I'm very fond of the pumice color itself, the gray. So I'm just going to brush on the. Uh, you see how the raw canvas, how it yeah. reacts? I like it so much better than gesso. It acts more like paper. Yeah. The opposite of terrace. The opposite of the terrace. Sometimes I take five or six little ones, 
certain size and do a whole road and put together. Yes. Mm -hmm. One long skinny mm -hmm. one. But there's nothing I like could do to this painting except that. That's going to make it more interesting. You know what I'm saying? You can push it further, but you might lose this kind of spontaneity. What do you do for edges? Um, the latest style is the leaving them. Yeah. Looking at the process, that's the latest. But some galleries don't like that. They want you to paint them. And would you paint it a black or that color? Because <coughs> some people just always paint them black. Mm -hmm. I don't like to paint it black because it takes just away tracks. the dimension. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. nice to have more of a dimension of the color. Um, painting the image around the edges, I think, is disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do it. I mean, yet yeah, people, uh, people are going to go with it just to see them. Yeah. It takes really, really a long time and it's very phony. Yeah. Yeah, we have a, we have a, um, have you heard of Bobby Berger? You know, like, you might enjoy her stuff, but we have one of, a big one of hers, yeah. and it is wrapped. Yeah. So she's pink and the first, then stretched it. Uh, so the images go all around the edges of all of it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just as thick Bobby Berger. Yeah. Yeah, well that's, that's a, you know, that would be fine. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. They just don't, uh, you know, sometimes I paint on the wall, staples, the canvas should staple to the right. wall. And you don't know what size it's going to be, it's just a big sheet of canvas. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so maybe you're going to say it's going to crop to a 4 by 6 or something. Sure. Well, in that case you have and to. And then that. you have to. You have to. Yeah. That well, that second color of pink stay that big over the sort of this is going to change it all. This is going to change one bit. This is really good paint. Nothing's going to move. No color is going to change. The only thing that's going to happen is the shine will go away. Do you find that you paint the same color over and over? I don't, but a lot of people like them shiny. I like them not shiny. There's, you could always varnish it with a... Um, uh, a, uh, either a satin or a gloss varnish if you want it to shine. 